Hello everyone. So today we will be seeing another topic, but it 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 is not for the beginners. Okay, so maybe the the folks who are who are learning the live applications, maybe they can skip. So today we will be seeing how we can extract that metadata of Q processor. So we know like uh, in in place of agents now in Pega dot x we are using Q processor. Okay, so in Q processor. what happens in queue processes we are not using like a kind of a traditional database so like when we queue it to to pega queue processor it doesn't save like a pega database table like earlier we used to save like um, for the agents like if you remember in in 7.x like still for the agents right so we can go and we can check in default entry okay and we can see like mm, uh, we can see that the what is that tamp top that agent okay and other attributes but it's not like pega is not saving to a dat any database and it's not easy to like uh, extract that information so today we will be seeing how we can extract that information because uh, let's say you want to put a, uh, you want to send an email okay let's say you are doing a queue processor and then on third attempt once the third attempt is there then you want to send an email okay on exceptions you don't want to send on each and every attempt or if you want to use some other attributes and and put some conditions in your like application so today we will be seeing how we can extract that informations and how we can use that okay so uh, let's see how first it looks like okay so basically first what i did i just created like i had existing flow okay for live application so i just like uh, added a queue processor running background and just created a queue a test queue processor okay and then i have given activity also test queue processor okay and then the max attempt is 3 and and few other things is like uh, by default okay now when we when uh, when i trace that when i trace that i found out that what pega is doing okay pega puts that because now it is using the kafka and stream kafka stream and other things okay for processing queue processor so what pega does is pega like creates a uh, parameter page okay and it puts all the uh, metadata attributes on that page so if you see here this is the px execution metadata and entire details is there on this one okay so like if you can see here also the py max attempt is also there and then what is that attempt count pz attempt so this is the max attempt is 3 and what is the pz attempt so this is the second okay so it will like uh, go for one more okay so the uh, 3 total 3 so this information so if if you are like uh, uh, like working on very first time if you want that value it will it, it will be not that easy because this this format is little looking different but it's a parameter page and we can extract that informations basically so we will see how we can do it so i'll just place this on here and you see how it is looking so it is not it, it is looking little different okay so we have to extract that information so all information is there okay so our queue processor name is also there i have created with the test okay pj time for processing and other things so we can extract all these informations and then use it in our application logic okay so mostly we will be using uh, the attempt number okay so let uh, so, to, so today we will be trying to like extract the attempt number so let's see how we can do that okay so for that what i did like uh, as i mentioned that i have just created a test uh, queue processor and then plugged into my existing flow so once i'll resolve that case this queue processor will queue to to that one okay now how we can extract that so to extract that okay as i mentioned that pega is putting that on a px execution metadata page okay so for that i have like created a function called extract queue processor metadata okay so and here what i am doing just initializing the tools or public api and then creating a parameter page okay and then uh, we are forming a clipboard page from other px execution metadata page which we can see here that px execution metadata page okay so this is a parameter page from that one we are forming that page now pz attempt is there on that page so from that one from that parameter page we are taking and putting to our param page so if you can see here this px execution metadata page and then from this one we are taking and then again putting back to this param page so what it will do it will extract this pz attempt value and then put it back to attempt number okay so now this is there in param okay so we can use it okay in our applications logic let's say if you want to just log it on third attempt or like you can we cannot send notifications on each attempt okay so we can do it in the last attempt so this attempt value we can use it 
so I'll, I'll, quick, I'll quickly show you a demo like uh, how this is extracting information so in uh, in my activity what I have done I'm just calling that function okay so this functions like I have not given any like output parameter I'm not defined because uh, like uh, um, here I'm just extracting PJ data but you can uh, like extract all like uh, maybe you need to extract more details and you want to put all uh, things on a parameter page okay so that's how you can do it by one functions but if you just need to extract it number maybe you can write and then this functions can only return this value so that's how also you can define so it's just up to you okay but just by writing and uh, this this code we can extract more information okay and here we can just update it so if i see here from here we can copy and put it there okay that if you want to extract py interval something like that okay so that's how we can extract more and more information okay but for now, we'll just see the attempt number. So what I'll do now, I'll just create a case and resolve that case. Once I'll resolve, okay, it will queue it to queue processor. Okay. So when it will queue, we'll to try to trace also and we'll see that. Okay. So the queue processor number usually starts from zero. Okay. So don't confuse with this one. Okay. If you're seeing zero, that means that is the first attempt. Okay. Then it will go zero, one, two. Okay. Something like that. If you have a third attempt. So how we can trace that queue processor? So go to admin studio and then we have the queue processor test here. So here we can just click on trace. Now I need to push one item to that queue. So I have already logged in with another operator ID. So from here I'll create a case and just resolve that. So here I'll just keep some random value because I don't need this is this is just to submit that case and so that it will queue one item to queue processor. Okay, so start it, end it, and then just give something and just create. And then once I'll submit it, so if you see here, I have uh, like configured running background, so I'll just approve it. Okay. So now let's go back and see. So it executed our tracer. Okay, so see, we can see here that in parameter page we have set on attempt number so see it came zero so now what we will do quickly we'll go and trace again okay because i have given uh, three counts okay so we'll try to trace again and this time we should see either one or two okay because like the timing i have given is very minimum one minute okay so maybe we can see that last attempt so let's wait for that and let's see if, uh, if our like um, q processor is picking that and, and before that, I, I'll explain one more things here. So let's see if you're working on any particular business. Okay. And, and there if you want to explicitly fail your scenario, let's say you want to retry three times. So sometimes Pega out of the box will not help you. So you need to explicitly set the status of activity and make that fail, uh, make that failure like uh, your acute processor activity so that Pega will do the retry. Otherwise you'll find, let's say if you have a very simple logic, okay and and if you think like let's say if some data is not valid then you want to just uh, retry again okay so in that case you need to set that activity status to fail otherwise with your applications logic it won't work okay so this is one of the again important steps so here like in my activity there is nothing available which can make this queue processor fail so that is where i have like use explicitly activity status fail uh, activity set status to fail but you definitely need it if you're going with your business logic so now i think our tracer cast it okay and we can see the attempt number so now if you see okay so it is showing attempt number one okay so if you go again and try to trace it maybe uh, I, if it is not exhausted all attempts then we can see that third value as well so let's see if we can able to catch it so now in a.x it's very easy to I trace that okay so let's wait for that so I, I, I was explaining in the meantime that this step is very much important okay okay yeah so we got that last attempt as well okay so let's see that here see we got the attempt number two so this is how we can extract the data okay so if you want like whatever the data you, you need just like use that functions and put that uh, value to parameter page and we can use that now if you want to do a logging so how we can do it okay so we can say like we can define like this okay uh, param dot attempt number equals equals to two okay then continuance else exit 
skip a step so something like that we can do and here we can let's say uh, we can send email uh, or send notifications or if you want to do logging or anything we can do okay so that is how we can use that attempt number okay so this is it for this session so i hope this this uh, this small sessions will help you and and uh, if you're writing your logic for the queue processor okay you can make use of use of it uh, so this this is a very small java code which i'll i'll add it in my comment sections of video uh, uh, which you can copy simply and then use it in your application so thank you thank you very much hope i hope this this is a small video and a small information will will definitely help you and you don't have to struggle <laughs> so thank you thank you very much have a good day